Hi everybody, coming to you with a quick video on Affinity Designer um, and how to create an SVG and upload it into Design Space on Affinity Designer. Um, I had this request last week and so I wanted to get this video up. So here we go. When you come into Affinity Designer, this is where um, you'll start. I already have mine on my presets, but um, you can either do your preset like this and I have it like on 1920 pixels by 1080 uh, 300 dpi and then I have it on CMYK8 and I use a transparent background and then I just hit create and so my background will be right here and so let's just get into it so First thing you want to do is go here to artistic text tool and this is this A right here. I'm just going to click on that and then I just uh, left click my mouse and hold it and you can drag down however big you want your um, font to be. I'm going to go with, I'll go with 67.9 <laughs> and I'm just going to go with the word happy and so after you type in your word, I go back up here to the move tool so that I can move the word around and control it. And see, now I can control it. If we were to just leave it here, then you wouldn't be able to do anything with it. So that's why we go back up to the move. And see, now we can control the word. And so now I'm just going to click on here um, to where the font is. And you can just literally go through it and choose which font you want. And I really like this because you don't have to click on anything. You can just scroll over it and it will show you what the word will look like in that font. And so I think I'm just going to go with, yeah, what do we got? I don't know why I'm being so picky here. Mm, this is what happens when you have too many fonts. You just find yourself looking through. All right, let's go with this. Okay. So now, all we're going to do, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just... I want to just convert this to curves because that's how we get it uh, to come over to your Cricut Maker. So now I'm just going to go up to Layer. I'm going to click on Convert to Curves. And as you can see up here now, you have the choice of whether you want to ungroup this. And basically, so it basically just grouped it. And if we take it over to Design Space, you will have to weld the word attach it but more than likely you'll weld it so it can just be one and you can do that in here or over there i'm going to show you if we could just leave it here and then we can do it in design space but i'm going to duplicate this really quick so i'm just clicking on copy and clicking on paste bringing this down so if we want to do it in here you just ungroup it and now you see how it just everything is individual now now I'm just going to go up here to where it says add and you can find this up in the top in these five. You have a choice of add, subtract, intersect, zor, or divide. So I'm going to click on add. And now it's one. And so all I'm going to do now, I'm going to highlight them both, group it back together, and we can ungroup when we get back into design space. So I'm grouping it and now we're just going to save this. And so all I'm going to do is click on file and I'm going to export and all your choices come up here. I'm already on SVG and I have it highlighted here. You see if you undo it, it'll say SVG for export and I want to export the Texas curves. So then I just hit export and I'm going to call this happy. 102 because I have done this so many times that I need to put in something different 
going to click save. It saves into my SVG files. So now I'm going to go into design space. Hopefully it doesn't need an update. All right. So I'm going to go to upload. And I'm going to upload the image. Go to my quick access where I get to things quickly. And there we go. Pull up that file we just created. Upload it. Insert the image. All right, and you see both came in. And like I said, I'm going to ungroup them. And so this one is the one that we just brought in grouped. And as you know, like I always tell you in design space, group keeps everything together while it's on the canvas. But if you take it to the mat, it does not. So you see right now, we go to make it, what happens? So we go back. So this is the one that we had already um, basically welded together. So this one, we're just going to weld it. And now we have two basic cuts. Your SVG was just created and it was just that simple. Now we hit make it and they're both ready to go. And it's just that simple. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you and I will be coming with more videos on Affinity Designer for the desktop, which is what we're working on right now and Affinity Designer on the iPad. And I'm still like trying to figure that out. And then as soon as I do, I will bring the videos to you. So I will see you guys later.